Greetings friends, this is Max with Ideal Satellite Services. I'm excited to share with you today that we have upgraded our satellite dish. We are now shipping our reflectors with a thickness of 0.7 millimeter. They're easier to assemble and uh, you'll enjoy the higher gain qualities that this new reflector has for you. Well, why don't we get started by assembling your new satellite dish. All right, friends, in order to begin your process of assembling your satellite dish, you're gonna need a crescent wrench, a 10 millimeter, and a Phillips screwdriver. These will be your essential tools you need for assembling your new 36 inch satellite dish. Okay, as we progress, we're going to grab the number four bracket and the number seven bracket, okay, you'll notice that on the side of the number seven bracket, there are two holes on the A side. We want to uh, use the top hole where the A is pointing to, to take the number four bracket and slide that in through the outer sides until we line up with that hole. We'll take a number 17 bolt Put it through the pivoting hole on top, just like this. And then we're gonna take a number 22 nut and proceed to screw that in there. Flip it over and let's do the same thing. Grab another one of the 20, 17 bolts and place that through the top pivoting hole. And we'll put another 22 nut right there. There's no need of a washer there. Now we'll take another 17 bolt and we'll put it through the bottom square hole here. And another 22 nut, just like this. Oh, just a second. I need to give you a little advice there. When you're placing the flat gaskets on there, what you wanna do is actually, I prefer using the metal washer on the inside and the plastic one it's not really a necessary item so just leave that plastic one out and slide the number 22 nut on there we'll flip it over do the same thing grab a number 17 bolt slide it through make sure the little square edge is aligned with the square hole and take your flat washer the metal one and the number 22 nut. And we're done with that part. We're gonna take a number 21 U-bolt and we're gonna slide that through the back just like that. You see that? Slips through the inside just like this. And it comes out to the front like that. Now we're gonna take the number 5C bracket and slide that through the number 21 U-bolt. And we're gonna proceed to put on some 22, uh, number 22 nuts on the U-bolts themselves. And we'll do the same thing with the bottom one. Take the number nine LMB bracket, both parts of it, and we're going to go ahead and slip. You see this little hole right here, this gap? That gap right there? This is going to face the satellite dish. So we'll take the LMB, set the LMB in its place just like that, with this gap facing forward towards the satellite dish. And you'll notice that the bracket here, it has numbers on it. You want to be able to set the numbers where you can read them from the front of the satellite dish. So in this case, I have zero, 20, and 20 on both sides, and I can perfectly read that. Now, you're going to take the number 20 Phillips head screw, drive, uh, screw heads and place those into the holes. But first, take the corresponding nuts and slip them through this gap that you see in front of the bracket itself. You see it? Take these nuts and slip them into the gap. There's uh, 
available for you there. Slip the clamp on top, put the screws through the hole, take your Phillips screwdriver and assemble that or tighten it down, I mean. Now we'll proceed to do the same thing on top here. Now I always preset my skew. What I will do is I'll take the little arrow that's on top of the Allen B here and aim it, bring this flush and aim it on the towards the side. In this case it's going to be to the right because I'm negative 16. So I have my little arrow there on the LMB pointing towards the 16, which is just a little bit over the center mark between the 10 and the 20, that would be 15, and just a hair over. Now the next step will be to take the square tubing number 10 and pay attention to how this is assembled. There is a whole single hole at the bottom here, and there are two holes one at the very top and one at the side. The very top one is going to be for the LMB bracket number 9 and you notice that that gap right there is for your square tubing to slide right into place just like that. Now we'll take the number 19 I believe is this bolt and it slips through the top and then through the hole at the bottom here Once it's aligned, your bolt will go right through there. You take your 10 millimeter nut, slip it in there, and take your 10 millimeter or crescent and snug it down. I don't know if you have noticed how heavy duty this LMB bracket is. This side bolt, uh, the side hole here is going to require a number 16 bolt and your 11 brackets. Now, friends, pay attention to this closely. There is a short tab and a long tab and the long tab has kind of like a cut on it that you can see it's more like rounded off this is the side that goes to the satellite dish the short tab is the one that goes on your arm LMB arm that LMB arm and your number 11 bracket are going to line up just like this with a number 16 bolt right across the top there just like this Again, the short tab is the one that lines up at the top and you take a number 22 nut like this one and you tighten it down. Now that we have the mass bracket and the reflector bracket put together, which are the number four and the number seven, you need to make sure that, see that arrow right here? Yeah, you can see the arrow show up right there in the black uh, there. See yeah. it? That arrow needs to be pointing up towards the lettering of the satellite dish. So we're going to line these holes along with the bracket, set that down, and we're going to take some number 17 bolts with the square ends on it, and we're going to feed those through the bottom of the dish just like this. And we'll put the number 22 nuts on all four of these loops. We're going to tighten them down and you want to snug them down good but not, like I said, overly tight. There's no need to tighten them down so tight. We have assembled this LMB uh, bracket. We're going to attach this to our satellite dish and there's a hole down here at the bottom of the satellite dish. We're going to take the number 16 bolt and we're going to fish this through the bottom hole of the LMB bracket and the satellite dish just like this and we're going to slip on the bottom a number 22 nut let's see we'll take one of the number 18 bolts and we'll fish those through the middle of the dish bolts just like holes just like that and we'll put on the nut so we'll slip that nut on there hold that down and to get the elevation generally what I do is I will set a carpenter's level 
on the LNB arm as you see it there and I will deduct 16 degrees from the elevation example if your elevation is 30 degrees you deduct 16 you come up with 14 degrees so I will set my elevation at 14 degrees right there and when I come across and sweep on the azimuth I'll be able to hit my satellite a lot easier so again try the uh, carpenter's level and you'll get good results going to assemble the mass bracket and assembly. We're going to start out with the mass pole. Incidentally, the mass pole generally installs in this position because you're generally setting this up on a, on a wall like this, on a wall like that, or on a, on a roof like this. So we're going to take the short end of the stick, as they say, in the curvature going to be up on top. The long end of the stick is going to go right here. So we will proceed by taking the number 14 carriage bolt. There's a square end on your bracket like this one right here. We're going to take the mass pole and we're going to insert this all the way down like so until the run hole matches up with the square hole here and we insert our number 14 carriage bolt all the way across we're going to take a flat washer and a 10 millimeter nut that slips right in there and we're going to snug that down just like that and then we're going to angle this bracket at an angle like that and we're going to take the number 13 carriage bolts I'm going to slip that to the bottom through this hole here and then over angle the, uh, the bracket just like that so that the bolt sticks out. We'll take a flat washer, 10 millimeter nut, and we're going to slip that in there and snug it down just like that. And we're going to repeat the process on the other side. Here we're going to enter through this side. We'll take the carriage bolt right through, slip it through the hole, and at the other end, we'll take a flat washer just like this. Take the 10 millimeter nut, and we are done with this segment here. Each individual nut will tighten down for greater strength. All right, now, we're going to pivot this over and we're now going to attach the number two support arms. These support arms are very important. Do not leave them out, folks. This gives the, your satellite pole or uh, the mass pole greater stability and your satellite dish greater stability because when winds blow and so on and so forth, it, it stabilizes that satellite dish. So do not forget to put these on there. And if you're installing this dish on an existing wiring for DirecTV or Dish Network or anything that's been left behind like that. Make sure that you remove the old post and you install the new post. It is essentially you use these support legs. So now we'll take one of the ends here and align it to the hole in the middle. We'll take the number 15 bolt and we'll slip that through the hole. Just like that. We'll take the other arm, slip it through the hole, take the washer and your nut and snug it down 